Good morning, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. My name is Sam, and in today's tutorial, I'd like to talk a little bit about getting your weapons to shoot where you want them to. So, in most games, your gun is not going to shoot directly where you want it to, because your reticle is a 2D sprite overlaid onto a 3D environment. So, that shot point isn't going to be able to look at directly at that reticle because it's not in the 3D environment. So this produces an effect where your bullets are not shooting directly where you want them to. They'll probably shoot a little bit skew of your reticle. And I'd like to talk about how to fix that. So what I have here is a visual representation of the problem. I have a draw, a debug.draw array out from my site, and I have one directly out from my shot point and then I have one out from the shot point in the direction that the shot point is facing. The one in that the shot point is facing is the one where the bullets will go. As we can see, it's rotating based on the recoil of the weapon, and that's never getting reset. So we need to be able to fix that, and not only that, is we need to, every time we shoot, we need to have it set back to be pointing towards the reticle, like the other rays are. So. Let's talk about how to fix that. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the scene, and I'm going to go into Visual Studio. I'm going to go ahead and uncomment all of the code that I have commented out right now, and I'll talk about it. So, if I go down, I have this method called Accurate Sight, and it's here that I had all those draw rays being sent out. And as we can see, we have them out of the sight pause, out of the shot point, and then out of the uh, shot point, but with respect to where it was pointing. So right now, I have this ray point variable, okay? This is just a vector 3, and it's set to be the point out in space from the site, from like where the reticle is, because the reticle is going to be overlaid onto the canvas, right? And right here, it's going to be set in the exact center of the canvas, and my corresponding point is in the exact center of the camera. Cool. So... What it's doing is it's sending out a ray from the exact center of the camera, which, as we can see, as we've seen, is the exact center of the reticle, and that's just a point out in space, however many unity units away that is, 200 unity units, okay? And we can use that to orientate the ray point pretty decently if it doesn't hit anything in the scene. So then what we do is we send out a ray cast to see if we're going to hit anything in the scene. And if we hit something in the scene, then we want to look at the point that we hit. So the way this works is we physics dot raycast out, okay, and we go out from our ADS pause dot transform position, that point that was in the center of the camera, and we transform dot direction, vectors read out forward, the basic syntax. We return to a site hit, which if I scroll all the way to the top, is just a raycast hit point right there. And then we go out 400 unity units. You can set this to how far you ever, how ever far you want to be able to check if you hit something. And then it's just checking to make sure that it's not a part of site layers. So it's checking to see that it is something that we can hit, so that it is any layer in the scene that is set to be hit. And I think that I have this set to be all layers except for the like actual sight on the weapon so that it's not getting confused. So this is pretty cool. So then let's look at what it does. So it says shot point dot look at the sight hit that it is returned. So this is important just because after every time that it is shot, it says, oh look at the sight hit point and then multiply that rotation by the recoil point dot rotation. Cool. And then if we go back to the place where it actually does the shooting, the shoot AR we'll see that it has that exact same line of code. And now you don't necessarily need this if you're just shooting one bullet every single time, but if you were, say, shooting a shotgun, where you're shooting multiple pellets, then the physics.raycast is important there every single time you do that, so that the bullets don't just shoot in the same spot, that not every pellet shoots in the same spot each time. You want that to be randomized. So let's go back into Unity, and if I hit play, we'll see that our issue should be fixed and that it should be shooting right at the ray point. Nice. So now we're here, and as we can see, it's shooting directly at that reticle, 
and hopefully all our issues are fixed. So thank you so much for watching. If this video was educational or helped you out at all, please leave a like or subscribe. So once again, you guys, thanks for watching.